question. Today's presentation is on oxidative phosphorylation. Hard word to say and even harder process to understand. What we've tried to do is take this rather complex process and visualise it through our 3D visualisation techniques, through 3D me taking a look inside the human body, in this particular case right inside the mitochondria, to help understand this process. Enjoy the presentation and as always we welcome and encourage your input and feedback to help us improve how we communicate these outcomes. Thanks for your interest and we'll talk to you soon. Bye for now. Let's now take a closer look at how the oxygen is being used by the muscle cells of the heart to facilitate cellular respiration. We are now passing cellular membranes of the heart muscle cells. Now inside the cell, notice the nucleus which is shrouded in its envelope and surrounded by the rough endoplasmic reticulum. And here are the mitochondria, the powerhouse of all cells and where the O2 molecule goes to work. Let's now move inside the mitochondria so we can see how oxygen is used to produce energy. Macronutrients such as carbohydrates, fats and proteins are oxidised by a series of biochemical reactions until they are broken down to CO2 and their electrons are captured by specialised carriers such as nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide or NADH. Electron carriers such as NADH then deliver these electrons to the electron transport chain which is embedded in the inner membrane of the mitochondria.